this is YBR with Rig and Roll. Uh, it's a uh, 18 wheeler game. I've done a ton of these, but there's more I haven't done, and this is one of them. Uh, one of the reasons I didn't do this one is because it is a S is not an SCS software game, which who make almost all the other ones. So I kind of just overlooked it until now. So I'm trying to create a new profile with YBR and a bunch of letters or numbers after it. I was gonna do letters, but then I said, "Nah, let's do numbers." And I hit create, and the game is slightly frozen. You could choose your license plate style here. Uh, I just left it, whatever. I ended up having that. Now this game does have a story to it, unlike most truck games. But the problem arises is. I can't seem to get it to play again. Like here, movies is on. Maybe tutorials has to be on too. So I'm putting tutorials on as well. I'm hoping it's just considered a tutorial and not a movie. I'm hoping the intro plays. So as I said, this is not by SCS Software. This is by another company. This is by SoftLab. Now this is kind of interesting. They are like, I think, I'm not sure if I'm saying all this correctly, but they're a Russian-based company? Or at least the website's in Russian? And they make, like, software for broadcasting things. And then they also make, uh, rig and roll. I don't really know why. It's quite unusual. And then they also had, like, a bunch of DLC and stuff planned for it. But I don't even know if that panned out or not. But, like, it had a bunch of DLC type stuff. I haven't, I don't know how that panned out. It's kind of just seems like, eh, who knows. It's really unusual. Um... I got this from Indie Gala, I think it was. It's one of those bundles. I think it was Indie Gala. You could grab it from that. I got it for like seven or eight bucks because I'm a cheap ass motherfucker, uh, and with like a bunch of other games. So if you want it, check that out within like the maybe the month that this video is posted. Otherwise, it's gone from that. And you can grab it on Steam. I think on Steam it's like twenty bucks or something though. But it's a weird thing where it's made by SoftLab. That is just unusual to me. They also made like another. A uh, big rig game in the 90s, I want to say, as well. Come on, intro. Yes, the intro's playing. Great, I'll let it go. I see. The old man's doing business. Of course. He's trading his rigging for an office chair. Take it up the ride or something? Yeah. There's a service station half a mile south down the 101. The guys at the truck stop there let us see they're old friends. Sounds great. There's also a motel nearby, not to mention the local bar. It's called Six Miles. If you see the sign by the road, be sure to drop in. You won't be able to find a better place to catch up on all the latest news all up and down California. There it is. Your new place. This is Pamela, your secretary. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Is she married? Footloose and fancy free. Okay, meet your virtual assistant, the freight manager. This thing will keep track of all kinds of useful information for you. Contracts, auto dealers, other truckers, you name it. Cool. Well, it won't do your thinking for you, so don't fall asleep. Thanks, Matt. This place is awesome. No big deal. You saved my skin. I just found a smart way to invest your money. And here's the company slob, Big Crane. Say hello to Mr. Nicholas Armstrong, will ya? Nick. Welcome to California, Nick. And with that, gentlemen, I bid you farewell. Nick, the motor pool's over there. It's all in your hands now. Get going on your first order, and the rest will just fall into place. So, yeah, that's kind of the story. You invested your money to that guy who opened up a trucking business. Uh, if we go in here, we can show off some other stuff. Uh, but he invested your money and made a trucking business is what I've gathered. Uh, kind of unusual base for a story, but whatever. So she's sitting here eating potato chips, being used for some fucking chips, man. That's all they're fucking doing, just eating potato chips. Because you have to do all the fucking work. It's like, oh, I gotta go use my fucking super high-tech FBI-style crazy shit. Like, what year is this supposed to take place? And we ain't got none of this right now. Alright, anyways, so here's this, uh, this is like this huge, like, kind of management of your company thing. 
you could hire truckers you pay x dollars a day so like you can say i want to hire this guy he's 948 dollars a day he's 109th best trucker in all of uh california i guess because this game only takes place in california and the ranking is actually backwards of that excuse me 109 means he's 109 skill points basically so you yeah, highlight the person you get their resume it says like how bad they are how good they are like this guy has fucking 19 tickets and six accidents for 19 years of experience where this guy got 23 years of experience six tickets and one accident and if you're crazy enough let's go to the last guy he's actually not that good for like tickets and stuff for safety wise he's probably like a fucking drive 100 somehow in his truck he has like the fucking limiter removed and shit probably i don't know but you can hire people you could say, I only want females because I'm a, I don't know. You could do whatever the fuck you want, really. You could pay only people who have shit tons of tickets and shit tons of accidents. So I only want, uns you could do whatever you want, right? You know, and felonies, only felons. This is Felons Trucking Co. It's actually not that many felons. Oh, uh, yeah, they look like felons, that's for sure. Sure. Uh, but there's a lot of shit here. I mean, like, you got... Your company compared to others. And when your company gets good enough, that's when the story, like, com comes in. Like, there's story to this. Not even joking. There's, like, a story that comes into this, supposedly. From what I've read. And it's crazy, you know? This is some other stuff. Like, telling your drivers what kind of orders to use. And how safe to be. And it's, like, all kinds of stuff you can do. There's a lot of, like tycoon based stuff in this type thing and i say that because this game a canceled version of it was known as rig and roll tycoon i think in a different country so really it is a tycoon game plus you could deliver your own things so i'm just like poking around all this shit you could buy yourself a different truck there was a lot of stuff i think you have to buy a truck and a guy i don't know i haven't actually messed with that now, this thing has quick saves when you're not in the menus, though. Uh, I don't think it does right now. So, I, since it says fleet, I'm assuming you have to have multiple trucks and multiple drivers and stuff. And I don't have much money. I got 200... Th well, fuck it. I got 200,000. Let's hire a person and figure this shit out right now. We're going to get the... Uh, what's cheapest here? Oh, yes. This piece of shit. Or that piece of shit. Let's see. Let's figure out what's the least piece of shit piece of shit I could get. 450 horsepower. There we go. Any, any the other stats don't even matter. What has a motherfucker? More horsepower. Yeah, look at that. 560. We're buying that motherfucker. Uh, let's see what else. you could change the color. You only want to buy certain colors. Suspension type. All kinds of stuff though. It's deep. So we're just gonna buy the truck. You know what? Screw it. Let's just buy it. So here's the old truck we had. How do I say I want to drive the nice one, though? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I already... Ha oh, my truck. So if I click... Yeah, I got the nice truck now. All right, now for this piece of shit, let's find a driver. Let's get the guy who doesn't have all the bad shit on him. Hire him. Okay, now what do we do? We got a driver. Go to manage fleets. I don't know what I'm doing here. I should have looked into this before. I was just like, I, I could do this. I just was kind of aware of it. Now I kind of understand it. So it's bad for me. So I have him as a driver. His loyalty is good. He's returning. He's already making money for me, supposedly. So I guess. Like, I guess he's already doing stuff. He has a truck assigned to him. So if I hit apply, I'm going to lose some money. Yeah, there we go. There's some money gone. But I guess I'm good. I'm going at it. You know, I'm already going at this shit, you know. I don't know. So I could go and buy another truck, like this dirt cheap one again, and hire another person even, I think. So it's, you know, it's Tycoon, man. I swear, it's Tycoon, but then you could drive as well. So you got the best of both, both worlds here. So now I got two people. Sure. And they're both just, uh... Yeah, they're driving about doing shit, I think. So that's... That's great. One thing that I have, I have no idea why, on the wins, this one is 0% and there's no blue. This one's 0% and there is blue. I don't know. So apply all. Lost another bunch of money. So I'll leave the wages the way it is. I don't want to piss them off. 
I'll leave everything the way it is. Just say drive averagely. But this is like a huge aspect to this thing. I pretty much figured it out finally because I looked at it live. So that's a terrible way to spend the time. I apologize for that. What am I going to do? I really didn't realize how deep it was. So here's my nice ass truck. Uh, but anyways, this game does have quick saves. They're not exactly quick, but they are saves, as you can see. Oh god! Oh god, this camera is terrible. I forgot to mention that. The camera controls are bad. Let me, uh... Oh, fuck, the game crashed. No, I crashed the game. I crashed the game! I'll be right back, and I gotta do everything I did again in that menu. Shit. Alright, sorry about this. Okay, so I'm back in this, and I'm just looking at a couple more things. You can set all of these things to be automatic. So if you don't really care about the sim aspect of things much, you just plop all those to automatic and you can let it go. Since right now I don't understand it, I'm going to just put them to auto and see if I can see what they change to eventually. We're going to apply all, and I don't have enough money. Oops. Uh, okay. Whoops. Um. Okay, so overhead got me. I want my 600 horsepower one. See, what happened was I found a, a more powerful truck. So I bought the more powerful truck. Then I can't afford it. So, um, oops. Let's get rid of this thing. No, but then I don't... Alright, let's hot. Let's fire this motherfucker. Is there any way to get alone? I fucked this up, man. <laughs> I wanted the faster truck. Since I didn't hit apply, I'm pretty sure I could pretty much undo everything I did anyway. So we just go to this. And then this is the one I got last time. So if I... I sold the wrong truck. Alright, hold up. Sell that truck. Then we buy... Well, hold up. I gotta get the cheap one again. So first, we buy the cheap truck. Okay, so now we have the cheap truck. And now we can see what kind of nice truck I can afford for myself. So this is a little screwy. I kind of already did this, but then I didn't. And then you get his show. I don't know what that does, so let's find out. Alright, so there you go, you get like, ooh, look at this, it has upgrades of this, this, this. And one thing that's weird, it says 171 T miles. Like for thousand, T stands for thousand, but usually for, um, thing, for like, US games it's K. I don't know, maybe T is just a more standard thing outside the US, though, I don't know. So this is, this one is the one I had, huh? Well, no! I had cheap, I had more expensive. How much would this cost me? There we go. 600 horsepower. Oh, that one has 575. Yeah, I'm sure 600 is better. How does this one have 575 when it was so goddamn cheap? Oh, that's the one I started with. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> let's actually try this again. Balance is $7,000. Whew. Alright. So, I was just changing up the things there, that's why you saw that again. Uh, what happens is, my keyboard, the same key that changes the camera, can also be used as an Alt F4 binding if you don't have um, number lock on. Yeah, we're designed. So, whatever. Let's wait for that other truck to get by and get in there. So, that's what happened. It was my stupidity. You got like a shit ton of camera angles where it's like, hey, look at this, hey, look at that, hey, look at this, 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 this. Usually it's just best off sticking with the first one. As far as I know, there aren't like cops of sorts. You could just do whatever you want. Really? Like I was going 80 on the, the interstate and nobody seemed to care. So who knows? Maybe there are later in the game and I just didn't see them or something. I've only done two missions before this. And holy shit. Alright, that's, that's light hit. Uh, if you do crash hard enough, there's damage modeling. So your truck will start falling apart and shit. Here's a quick save. Not quick per se, but it's a save. So you got a few camera angles as well inside. After you get inside, you can zoom in like uh, tunnel vision mode or normal. Or like driving with your nose up on the windshield as well. And that's just tunnel vision. I don't care what you say. And I was so busy messing with the camera, I went the wrong way. So, um... This is legal, by the way, in uh, California. I say this is a California resident who is studying for the license test. Well, practicing for the license test. Still. I've been saying that for, like, months. But I really have just had a permit for, like, almost a half a year. Still no license. Anyways, we're gonna just go up here and... Oh, shit. Use all 600 horsepower this thing has and all, like, what? 
thousand torque it probably has to. Since it's a low revving diesel, this thing probably has shit tons of torque. I don't know. Uh, anyways, there's, some trucks have more camera angles. This one only has one. What happens is on the other truck, you have like an in, in the middle. Here, let's stop. Uh, God, I was about to say, let's stop before I crash. Too late. Alright. We're just gonna... Let's try to get in reverse. Right, this has gone terribly. This whole video. <laughs> okay, this is a quick load. So, did I tell you my cousin's a trucker? Your cousin? Yeah, my cousin, Joe. He's got an 18 wheeler. Oh, right. You know, he just drove from San Diego to San Francisco in under five hours. What? How did he do that? Oh, I oh, I was listening to the ad. All right, so what I was saying is there's also a camera that's kind of like in the back of the cab type thing in some of them. And then there's also a passenger seat one. I don't know why only some of them have it. But this one only has the driver's seat. So You can change the angle you're looking at just by hitting like any key you bind it to. So you can just, instead of using the mouse look like this, you can just bind it to a certain key. So let's actually take this a little more seriously and uh, do this turn. All right, and slow it down. So what you do is you go to these places, the warehouses, and then they'll say, hey man, here are some missions you can do. Oh, you can move the camera while you're here sometimes too. Not this time though, how weird. Might've just been a glitch, but one time I was able to rotate the camera while it was driving and it was really glitchy. Oh, anyways, what you do is you drive to a warehouse and you say, I want a mission, and then they'll say, here you go. Here are your choices in this super high-tech computer shit. Uh, there's two types, really. There's trailers and no trailers. Trailers. No trailers. No trailers have no fragility, no weight. So really, I always like, like, yeah, let's do that one because it's a competition, too. They say competition where it's like you're racing other drivers. Some of them don't have that. I'm a competitive guy. I'll take competition. So this one's just like a plain out race you're not delivering anything you're just racing to the destination i really don't get that so i'm in fifth place you start in last but you can make your way up pretty easily uh, one thing when they dump you out of those things they don't dump you out of very good positions like this one it's like you got a half second to say oh do i need to go left or right here i went right the first time uh you don't want to go right wow and they really just dump you out on the freeway too like, it's just almost instantaneous. You're on the freeway. So here we are. We're just driving along. We're going to get to that place, it said. And uh, we're going to go as fast as possible because it's a race. Try to just... See, there's no, there's no real good camera angle for this game, it seems like. Like, a lot of okay ones. I mean, this one's okay. But, uh, 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 what game? What are you doing, game? Game, hey. Whoa. All right, great. Yeah, this is going great. Game's freezing now. Graphic settings are default. Getting me 20-something FPS. Seems to be locked at that, though. Seems to be locked at 20-somes. 24. I think it's coincidental because I just saw Pop 28. Can't find my lug wrench. You got a spare? In the glove compartment. Thanks, Nick. And when he says glove compartment, he means his pocket. Because he just pulls that out in like a half second, like, in the glove compartment. Phew, pulls it out of his pocket. I don't know, it's so weird. Like, he's just, like, he's the fucking owner of this thing. And he's like, wait a minute. If he's the owner of this thing, why does that guy not show up in the higher driver's thing? Huh. Mm, weird. Maybe he's like a friend, so he's like a different status? I don't know. I just thought about that right now. I don't know. I don't quite fully understand this game, as you can tell. Like, why am I racing? I don't know. Mm. You get a map, too. I should have pointed that out earlier. That red and white spinning, twirly, whatever thing. I don't know if it's, like, twirling or just changing colors. Like, kind of imagine it like something that's twirling, like a... I don't know. So here's the exit we want to take. But I imagine it's, like, a twirly thing or something. I don't know. But that's you. It's pointing which way you're going. Uh, the... So we're following the, the road to get to Lebec. And when we get there, we'll make money. And I'll quick save every now and then just because I do stupid shit. 
so quick save like these two roads just merge and I'm trying to like get in front of this car that's stupid shit number one again I don't think there's cops I think it's just do whatever the fuck you want man so that's a racer we're driving against We've gotten fourth now there's another one right there you see him he's coming up he's overtaking that car Whoa, that was close. I almost crashed a little bit. So we're going to overtake him. And this is what you do for the races. I don't get them. Like, why are we racing? We're not delivering anything or anything. And who's paying us to do this? I don't get it. It's weird. So I'm in second. There's one more. Pop up the map. You can see he's quite a bit away, actually. We should be able to catch him, though. First time I did this, I, I caught everybody. Usually that happens, though. Oh, first time I did this, I did so good. And I have nothing to back it up because I play like shit. But uh, should be able to catch up to him. And then we'll see him and we'll drive by him. And then soon enough we'll get money. Go and pop another quick save. They're not very quick, like I've said. And uh, the, um, at the top, you see you got some stuff, too. There's a shark. I'm not sure what that means. There's your position, the time, your location to go to, why you're going there, your river uh, revs, uh, and your gas, and your damage, and your radio. How did I turn the radio off? Or maybe it's because I'm... No, I don't know. Something weird. It always looks like it's raining when you're inside. I don't see a single fucking cloud in the sky. It's a bright sunny day and it looks like it's raining. Oh god, I'm in the lead. I'm gonna crash in this turn. Just watch. The stress gets to me. Ah, this turn isn't as steep as it was. There's a couple of turns where you actually have to slow down, otherwise you go, oh shit. Ah, that's a light hit. Brush it off. Alright, so anyways, we're going to Lebec still. We'll move slowly on this map, but we'll get there in about five minutes, I would think. Uh, the traffic. There's something else I should point out. The traffic can be changed if we go to... Hey. Hey, I said escape. Okay, escape won't work now. Maybe it's because I'm holding W and my keyboard sucks at ghosting. Nope, I can't bring up the menus. That's great. Maybe I'm... I mean, I can say maybe it's because I'm in a mission, but that doesn't even make much sense. So we'll just finish this mission and see if we can pull up the menus after it, but whatever. Uh, you could change the amount of traffic, though. You could have it where it's literally no traffic but you and the other r trucks that you're, like, racing in that mission. Or you could put it all the way to the max. This is just, like, default, what it gives you at the start. It's, uh, like, 2 out of 10 bars. So you could put a lot more traffic. This is the turn where you have to slow down. Oh, thank goodness that guy in the beige truck, he, he swerved to dodge my stupid ass. Alright, so we are still winning. Truck sounds weird because it's revving hella low. I don't know why. Maybe I scared the shit out of it so it won't rev high anymore. Now it sounds more normal. So I think normally a truck would be limited to like 55 miles per hour. These ones, they don't have limiters on them so they just go whatever the fuck they feel like like 80 miles per hour like that is fucking you'd never see that unless it's like a privately owned truck because if I recall correctly like the ones that are not privately owned are like limited at 60 or 55 or 65 or something whoa why am I on the wrong side of the road what am I doing well, speaking of what I'm doing this is a great thing to do Save first. I know I'm about to make a poor decision. Alright, so here we go. We're supposed to do um, one of those circular loop things. And we'll eventually get down to here and go this way. If you're anything like me and you know the roads a bit, you'll uh, do that. Cuts off a huge amount of time. You don't lose too much speed either. I think you'll lose more speed trying to slow down to make sure you don't fall over on the, uh, the uh, long turn to... Than trying to just off-road it. 
Uh, sometimes you can damage the bottom of your truck doing that, though, it seems like. Like one time it was like a steep cliff type thing, and I bottomed out and damaged the truck, I think. It's hard to know when you actually damage it, because the only indication is like pieces start f fucking hanging off and shit. And yeah, it's like, yeah, I fucking damaged it bad there. But sometimes it's not as obvious. It's like, I might have broke it, maybe. I don't know. Is this even the right city? This feels like the wrong city. I think I went the wrong fucking way. What city am I in? Oh, this is it. Alright. Somehow I came into the city from a different location last time because there was not this turn. Maybe I came in from the wrong side of the road this time. Because that's why right there, that road is what I drove the first time. Oops. Alright, that was to show off the damage. Uh, oh, well shit, this truck is durable as fuck. It doesn't show the damage at all. Oh, wait. Well, my windshield's a little cracked, you can see. And I just shifted into reverse. My door just flung open. Look at that. I don't know if I hit a key to do that while I was trying to get out of reverse or what, but my door's open. Oh god, I'm in second. I'm in third. Did I go the wrong way? I'm in fourth. I think I went the wrong way. Uh, my shit's hanging open now. That's bad. I'm gonna just quick load. I went the wrong way somehow. Oops. I'm lost. Like, I'm lost here. When I hit that pole, it screwed me up, I think. I messed just my, my orientation got lost. So let's try this again. Alright. Oh, shit. That went much better. So maybe it was... I don't know. I mean, I was getting to Lebec or whatever. But I don't know... Like, what I did wrong at the... Like, I don't know how I got lost. I know I got lost. I don't know how I managed to be that dumb, though. All right, we'll just go on the road this time, just so I don't fuck it up. This is the road I've already been on. So I won't fuck it up this time. See, it's a different road, actually. That's what I did bad last time. I'll still cut the corner, though. Get some drifting done. And then terrible drifting. Um, that was, yeah, that was bad drifting. You can drift these things. Legitimately, you can fucking drift these things in real life. It's crazy. I can't drift for shit in this. Probably need more power, that's what it is. Well, that's just power sliding, though. Maybe you can only just power slide them. I don't know. What's the difference, anyways? All right, this road has ended, and I'm in behind this guy, so he's probably limited at 55 miles per hour because he doesn't own his own truck. I do, bitch, so get the fuck out of my way. All right, there's some good music playing, sure. Yeah, sure, it's good. It's not what I listen to, but maybe it's good. I don't know. I'll talk over it. Uh, I don't think it's copyrighted-ish. Wait. This is probably copyrighted-ish. Fuck it. Break them copyright rules. Uh, Alright, Kettleman, Lebec City, warehouse is to the right. So this time I know, yeah, see this time I can see the warehouse, so this time I know where I'm going. Somehow I just screwed myself up. I'm going to cut this corner and hope I don't crack. Oh my god, I almost destroyed my truck. Alright, so here's the end of it. Oh, I have my wipers on. Oops. I mean, that was intentional because it was raining somehow. Right? Wasn't it raining? Kind of, sort of. I don't know, but here you go. This is what happens when you finish. It says, congratulations, you won the race. This is your stats. Here's some money. And, yeah. And then you could do a regular delivery, like a real delivery now. And, you know, you could do those, too. Oh, my God. We should transport the cows now. Let's transport the wheat, because that is the heaviest thing I see. Actually... Los Angeles. Uh, is there anything that goes to Palmdale? No. Uh, Bakersfield is kind of close. I don't know. I don't want to drive the same road, but I don't want to drive all the way to LA. So, we'll go to Bakersfield. Listen, Bakersfield. Just this one. Oh, God. People are taking the deliveries. Take it now. The other trucks are pulling in and stealing my deliveries. 
Like, this place is super high tech. Trailers just come out of the fucking ground and out of the ceiling sometimes, too. I don't get that shit. Like, that is so fucking high tech and out of the world. This place really is in the future because I don't think they have that kind of shit. I mean, maybe they do, and every other trucking game has lied to me. I don't think that exists. Oh god, me and Orange are going for a race. Orange is winning because he don't got no trailer. Oh, there actually is a race for this one, too. I wasn't paying attention. Like, I think I'm kind of partially in control here. Like, I can influence where it goes, sort of, but not really. Because, like, that swerving, I think I induced that, but now I'm hitting left and right and nothing's happening, so I don't know. So we're going to Bakersfield. Oh, God. See, that starting always messes me up, it seems like. Get the normal camera back. So if we want to go to Bakersfield, we also got to head towards Kettleman, I guess. Park break. Oops. Um, where is Pedal? Yeah, Bakersfield's on the way to Kettleman. Okay. So. Oh, God. I keep hitting parking brake. I don't know why. I'm being an idiot. I keep hitting parking brake when I mean map. So there's three other people going to Bakersfield. I think one of them doesn't even have a trailer, so that might be difficult to do. I'll still try my best to outspeed everybody. Who knows where the other guy went, though? He's gone because I hit that light pole. I don't actually even see him on the mini-map. I don't know. Weird. There's now four people, though. Maybe they're going to different locations? It almost looks like their arrows pointed a different way. Maybe not. It's hard to tell. So I'm actually pulling this 17 tons of... Uh, uh, milk. It's milk. No, this wasn't 17 tons. This was a lighter weight one. Scratch that. My bad. And I'm pulling this at 85 miles per hour. And I see the other guy, actually, way up on the road. He is ahead. But I'm going 86, so I should be able to catch him, actually. And I forgot to check if I could pull up the maps, finally. So, oh well. My goal right now is to catch the other guy. Which, I don't know if it will be possible. So if we keep heading towards Kettleman, that'll be alright. The exit towards Bakersfield won't be till later. See, I got it. Wait. I think I lost more money than I made in income. Oh well. I tried. I put it to all automatic, so I blame the automatic computer. Trying to rip my money away. I actually couldn't tell if it said I overall lost money or gained money. It was hard to tell. It just went by really fast for me. Because I'm trying to like watch my driving, so I only look down a second or, every second or two. So we're actually catching this guy because I'm... I'm hauling fucking ass here. Like 86. That's that's ridiculously fast for something like this. So after we get to Bakersfield, I'll show off the truck stops. And I'll try to pause it again and mess with the settings. Because I don't think I can pause still. And I can't test it right now because I'm trying to churn. And my other hand is busy supporting my face so it doesn't fall everywhere because I'm so lazy I can't even hold my face with my neck. I have to use my hand. Okay. Far left to pass. What does this say? Kettlesman, Bakersfield. I'm going the right way. That's all I need to know. Kind of smush that car. Because I'm really fucking speeding. Oh well, they're all fine. I think that might be a truck I'm racing right there coming up. Oh god, tight churn. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Four wheel drive. I don't even need roads to kick your ass. But I will take advantage of them. You are in the lead. Yeah. Hopefully I can clear him if I sway into his lane by now. Because I'm about to sway. You can do a save. Just in case I do something stupid. Oh god, this is stupid. Oh, but it worked. Oh, that was pro. Pro. Alright. Squeeze right by. Cargo damage. Oh, shit. 
my trailer detached and I flipped that car over. And so my truck's falling apart now. Told you it has damage. Uh, that's why I quick save. That was just playing up me fucking up hard. Like I was. Wow. Um, yeah. So this video is just long because the game itself is like a long game. So it's a long gameplay video. Press any key. Or is my any oh, this guy moved out of my way this time. Good. Alright, so let's try that again without the wreckage. So we're going to cut the corner still because that's the easiest way to... Oh god! Yes, I got it. I don't know if I was supposed to go to the left or right here though. I hope this is Bakersfield and not Kettleman. I think I should have went the other way. Yep, okay, I went the wrong way. Wait, now I'm in the lead again? What? I really don't know which way I should have gone. I wasn't paying attention to the sign, I was busy trying to off-road. Okay, new strategy. When I get to that turn that fucked me over twice in a row, well no, I fucked up at it twice in a row. Um, let's slow down. You, know, you can't be always power all the time. Just 95% of the time, 99% of the time actually, it's just a- Whoa! Shit! Just load it again. I didn't accomplish anything. Loads are slow, but... I don't know. It just seems wasteful to keep going. That's right. I mean, the load kind of... It always throws me off, too. Just like when they dump you out of the uh, warehouses. Loads throw me off a second here in this game. I don't know why. I think it's just because the driving game with quick saves is kind of unusual. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, that's like a worst excuse ever. That's more of a, that's a feature, but I think that's what throws me off. It's just the fact that it has that always kind of messes with me. Alright, so I want to be in the left of Bakersfield, so. Excuse me. Alright, so I really fucked the shit up on my truck. I don't care. I should care, actually. That's not that fucked up. Until I'm busy looking at the front too much to drive and hit another car. So before I was able to top out at like 86, let's see if I can still do that after crashing into a car. Pulling up to uh, almost 70, there's 70. Alright, pulling up to 75 in a second. Alright. Oh, oh there it goes, it keeps going. I want to say it is accelerating slightly slower maybe. It's hard to remember though. Maybe not. It's hard to tell. See that sign for Vegas? Maybe that is the Vegas... Like, this game was supposed to have a Vegas DLC. I don't know if it's, like, included with the game or what. I don't, I don't think you can go to Vegas. But there was supposed to be a Vegas DLC for it or something like that. It's weird. Like, it's hard to find information on this when I only looked for, like, 30 seconds. It's like I pulled up the wiki page and I'm like, alright, yep, that's all I need to know. But I really should look more into it. Being honest. Too late now, though. So, we'll just keep on pushing it and talking bullshit about shit I don't know. Alright, so Bakersfield is on the left, Fresno is on right. These are realistic cities in California, by the way. As a California resident, I can say that for sure. Their locations are a little screwy, though. Not terribly off, but they're a little screwy. Los Angeles Bakersfield Warehouse. Slow the fuck down for this. Didn't slow the fuck down enough. You know, I don't think there's actually any stops. It's like this game is go, go, go. There's no stop signs or signals. So the cargo is slightly damaged. I'm not exactly sure how milk gets damaged. Like if it's leaking. No, that doesn't make sense still. Like how does milk get damaged in a 1% basis? 
How are they going to say this 1% of milk is more damaged and how that works? Eh, who knows? It's a trucking game. I'm putting too much thought into it. So I got 99% accuracy, I mean, integrity, excuse me, made $4,000. And for now, we'll just kind of, let's just drive about for a bit. It's like, go to the other things you can do. I have uh, not actually done those. I've just done two deliveries, which were back and forth to that one la that one area. To Lebec, and then wherever I started. I forgot the city name. I think my smokestack is slightly busted up because it looks crooked. So right now I'm actually not churning it. It looks it seemed like it was going straighter out of there than usual. So I don't know. So where are we? All right, we are. Oh, there's actually nothing around here really. So we just gotta drive a little bit. We get to a diner and like diner logo and see what that is. That kind of interests me. I kind of went the wrong way to do that, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah, look at that smokestack wobbling on the left side. Look at everything wobbling now because I just wrecked this shit. Okay, I'm trying to reverse and I can't. So there we go, okay. Shit's really damaged up now. So if I head towards Fresno, that'll get me on the road I want to be. Alright. If I go the other way, there's a repair shop though. Mm, oh well. See, I'm too busy watching that smokestack on the left wall about to pay attention to anything else right now. So I've wrecked this truck up now. That's great. Uh, who cares? I'm an ass. Like that. Uh, so we're just gonna find that, like, diner logo and see what the hell that is. Probably gonna be some bullshit where it's only on the left side of the road and I'm gonna have to plow through the middle of the freeway and stuff. Maybe it. Oh, that was a joke, you motherfuckers. You're gonna make me actually have to do that, I think. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, truck stop. That's just a truck stop logo. Never mind. I thought it was something. Well, I haven't been to a truck stop still, but I thought it was like a diner or something. It's just a truck stop. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. There is food at truck stops. Shit. I don't think I can make it up this hill. Yeah, that's... I don't got the power to. Um... Let's drive the wrong way on the highway. Oh, I could just drive the wrong way on the exit only. Stupid fucking song. There's sirens in this song. So I'm like thinking, wait a minute, are there cops? Or is that a cop, really? Oh, that's a song. No, that's a cop. God, I hope this song never gets played on the radio. For real. I'm like, when I'm driving, I'm like, I don't know if this is a song or a cop. No, there are cops. Shit. Get away from the police. You gotta drift. Oh, God, my camera angle. Oh, fuck. This camera is way all screwy. Like, it's inverted to me. It's inverted to me from what I expect. Like, if I push up, the camera goes up. If I push down, it goes down. If I push left, it goes left. But I always think in the opposite manner, where inverted is actually normal to me. So that's just me being stupid, really. This truck stop is barren. Wow, this is weird. Oh, can I pause? Is it because I have the map up? Yeah, I just straight up can't bring up the, the, the menus. Unless I rebound it to something else. So let's see what this is, and then we'll be done with it. My beat up to shit truck, he doesn't even give a shit, so whatever. Pop in a room, buy a hooker, it's good stuff, good stuff. You know, you have a fucking cab on the back of your truck, you could have just done well. 
high tech world we're living in. Check in, then you put a checkout time, and then you says how much you spent. Oh, it puts in. All right, so we don't need to spend that long here. We'll put it to. Um, no, fuck. Uh, eleven. No, we can do zero. Zero. One. A.M. Let me bring it up to like just do. Let's just do like eight hours. Just see what happens. It beeps twice and the screen goes black. Cool. Then I get back into my shitty ass beat up truck. And I can't bring the fucking menus up. I don't think I'm crazy. I swear. I could bring up the menus with Escape before. I don't know. I swear it was Escape. Oh, oh I don't know. Anyways, I think I broke the game now. Po poking too many. Oh, there it's back. Wait, the menu came up for a sec. There, it's back. It's back. It is escape. It just wasn't working before. It's back now. What was I even going to do? Oh, that's right. What if I max out the traffic? And what's road services? Yeah, supply changes. Emergency. Oh, never mind. So if I want to actually like do work at the company shit, I have to drive all the way back you though. You sometimes put the pedal to the metal and you just don't. I just accidentally hit quick load. Yes, I get that all the time. Oh well. well you know what that means. Yeah, we're done here. Uh, I could let's play this, I guess. Like I said, it does have a story to it somehow. So it won't be like the German truck one where it's like this is pointless and I'm done. This one actually has like a story behind it, I think. At least that's what I've heard on the wiki page. Wiki page is usually truthful, right? Uh, until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya with a long video, actually, probably. I don't know. Maybe it's not that long. It felt long. Anyways, I'm blabbering, so until next time, see ya.